All righty, everybody. Welcome back once again to Blender Seth. Yeah, I know it's it's uh it's been a few weeks, um, but you know, been busy. Things been going on. Um, I've been busy with the students uh, on Blender and stuff. Um, and, the, and th that actually that brings up uh, the reason for this video. We had really fun. We had fun with it. Now, <laughs> you gotta understand the uh, the students had fun with this. But, you know, they're beginners, so, you know, and now there's probably going to be some people watching this from, dis uh, you know, the discords that I'm on and, and stuff like that, that, um, you know, it'll probably be boring for, for you, most of you guys, and uh, I'm telling you that, you know, right off the bat here, but um, all this stuff is, you know, brand new to them, and probably brand new to, you know, new people, because I get a lot of visits uh, from YouTube you know, from the from people's home pages and stuff, they're searching for Blender. You know, tutorials, add-ons. You know, hard ops. You know, all kind of fluent. You know, all kinds of stuff. And I, you know, I end up on their search or their home page and stuff. And they, that's why I end up coming. So a lot, there's a lot of beginners, experienced people. You know, might click on it by accident, and as soon as they see you know the, the topic or whatever, you know, they they know what it, they leave already but basically my subscribers and stuff the, for the majority of the part are uh, are being are beginners you know and uh, you know what we've learned years ago they're just now you know trying to figure out you know or, or, or get into in my this this video and the topic that came up in uh, the discord with the students was from my last video that I did on uh, the, the Dax uh, Daz, Dax, Daz, Daz 3D. Um, I mentioned in there about importing models, you know, that you got off the free sites. And I, I showed a free site in that video that I got a lot of models off of. But I got models off, of, you know, I got free models off everywhere. I got free models off of Daz. I got free all the all most all the sites out there have a selection of free models that they give away now. This is good learning ground for new people to Blender. For one, I mentioned in a previous video that when you import a blend file, you know, well, actually, let me back up. This is uh, covering, you know, I, I said I'm going to put a bunch of basic beginning, uh, beginning tutorials up, you know, going over Blender's interface, you know, a bunch, you know, a bunch of basic stuff. And then we're going to slowly get into, you know, constraints and drivers you know, and all that, then, you know, eventually work our way up to animation, rigging, shaders, and nodes, all that stuff. And that's because, you know, it's going to help you. And that's what this is, you know, we spent, you know, we spent a lot of time in the chat going over this and stuff and, uh, you know, going, doing live d demonstrations, showing people things and everything. And, you know, they, they thought it'd be, you know, nice to put up a video up, you know, and my basic uh, Blender uh, playlist covering this stuff. You know, a quick video. You know, <laughs> I told them, you know, I my quick videos are still like you know 30, 40 minutes. You know, <laughs> but um, anyway, and that's what this is about. We're gonna do we're gonna do that. I'm gonna import some free models that I got off the site that I mentioned in uh, my previous video. We're gonna, we're gonna show you guys and also computers. You know, I said my my home computer is a, is a iMac, a 2015 iMac, you know, that I use because, you know, I do a lot of stuff, you know, I just don't do 3D. You know, I do security work, which has nothing to do with ha having a GPU or anything. It's mostly programming and, you know, reverse engineering software and stuff like that, which, uh, you know, the, the Mac is very capable of doing and, uh, you know, and other stuff, you know, that, that I that I do also what building web pages. You know, which is just HTML, CSS, you know, nothing, you know, really, you know, re any old computer can do that, you know. Really, it's only, uh, you know, my 3D work and stuff that where I need a high-performance PC and stuff. And that's why I have the services, you know, from iRender.net. And that's why I have cloud computers to render uh, render those out and everything because I can make single item. Now, I sell 3D models. Now, I can make, a, you know, a 3D model, you know, on here and everything. And you know, up to a point. Once it, once a scene, you know, gets, you know, a little, you know, at a certain point, 
and vertices, vertice count and face count and stuff. To finish it, whether you know that be lighting and, um, and, and shading of materials or textures and stuff, and for rendering and animating and stuff, you know, that's when I'll have to go to my cloud computer and, and do that stuff. But I mentioned that all the time about my, my home PC and people wanted to see the home PC in actual action, you know, to see how much it can, you know, what it's like, you know, and what it could take. They've done it, and we, we did, you know, exercises in, in the chat, in the Discord. You know, people have various computers in there, you know, Windows and Mac both, you know, with different uh, CPUs, and, you know, some had, you know, like a, a, a graphics card, you know, a 1080, you know, and stuff like that, and everything. And, you know, just comparing, just playing around and comparing time, render times and stuff like that. And, of different things, but uh, it was fun. It was informative to them, and uh, I told them I'd put out a, a, a short video, and uh, not really do you know, a whole you know get into a, a whole lot of rendering and stuff. I might render a couple of things and everything, but uh, you know, just to show you guys you know the difference. Um, I'm not going to show you know the uh, logged on computer, the uh, the cloud computer, because you know most of you guys have got GPUs already. You know, and everything. You don't need to see it. You know, you guys know how that runs. But uh, anyway, let's get to it. Let's open up here. Oh, what do we want to start with first? Um, yeah, let's start with this. RTX 3080. See, first of all, see how long it's taken to, just to open that? It's a two megabyte file. That was it. You know, that took you know, a good 10 seconds or so. To open that, you know, and, and on on my cloud computer, you know, as soon as I hit open, that would have been up already. I mean, there wouldn't even, there wouldn't even have been a lag in time at all or anything. But uh, here we are, you know, it's looking pretty pretty uh, dull now. Now this is the thing with what you see on the internet. This was a free model. It was rendered on 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 uh, the website. Good lighting and, and everything and all you know all that stuff and everything. But you can see we don't have a lot up here. We got you know a bunch of cubes and stuff. You know, basically it's the model. You know, there's not a lot up here. You might be thinking that when you download a model, that you're getting what is exactly in the picture that that the person's showing you, and that's not what you're getting. See, if I go over here to rendered, look at this. We can see. Okay, there's a faint green. I don't know if it's coming out on the video, but you can see there's a faint green right there and we do have lights um, where are they at oh well does he have them in the cubes oh well oh no we don't actually let me see yeah he's got one panel way up here and that's what that's basically what we're seeing now now we can play around you know with that and everything now this is going to be another thing now there's hard ops you know and i got pro lighting which is a another advanced uh, lighting setup you know it's kind of expensive you know and everything and you can see up here i got ran tools and all of these have got you know material capabilities you know uh, also, along with Fluent, you know, Fluent's got its own custom material addition to it, Fluent Materializer and stuff. But even they take some learning, and sometimes, you know, they don't work out like you'd expect. If I was to, let me see, here's my target, the center the center of this RTX right here. And with RAN tools, if I was to just uh, choose a lighting, now, you can see a little bit of change there. And you can see we got some strong highlights down on the bottom here coming off this uh, bottom bevel and everything. Um, we lit up the side a little bit more. But uh, let's see what, let's actually see what RAN tools did with our lighting. I tried moving it, it doesn't want to move, so let me go to shaded. I mean, uh, solid. There we go. Move back. Now you see, here's the lighting. Yeah, up here's our model. Now, I had it highlighted, but Rantoles put it way down here. 
Now, there's a reason for that, and that's why I specifically did it like this, you know, to show you to show you guys that. And this goes for even when paid, you know, when you buy someone else's work, because you're getting their work. How it comes out is going to depend on your system, add-ons that you have in your system, your computer, um, you know, how much memory you got, at what point in particular. Maybe you've been working all day and. You know, you, you've been you've been surfing the internet, you know, and everything. Your your cache memory is all full in your browser, you know, and everything. I mean, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on, and you know, and you've been doing this all day, and you know, who knows? Maybe someone's been watching porn on your computer for a couple hours, also on top of you know, and, uh, so you know, whatever whatever has been going on, you know, there's been a whole lot going on, and then at the end of the night, you know, seven or eight o'clock at night, you're sitting around. You want to open up Blender, and you choose to open up a file or something, you know, that's it, got lights and materials, and, you know, there's some add-ons with it, you know, and everything, and it just doesn't open right, you know, it doesn't look right, something happens to it, things are wonked, or, you know, and everything, and, you know, yes, you could go on the discords and say, why is this happening? And, you know, for the most part, a lot of people are going to be say, you know, they're guessing at it, basically going to be say, you know, maybe you should try this. Maybe you should try that. Maybe you should try that. You know, is it this? You know, I tried that, you know, and I tried that too, you know, and everything. Nothing's working so far and everything. And, you know, welcome, welcome to the world here. <laughs> this is troubleshooting. It happens in every single profession, whether it's 3D, security research, graphic design, uh, whatever you're doing, there are going to be more problems than than when than you have things that actually work out the way you, you planned and the way you want. When you have a plan in your head and you think, oh, all I need to do is, you're in, in Photoshop or whatever, all I need to do is, you know, put a, a pin here, a pin here, a pin here, and draw this out and, and then close it off. And once you close it off, you can see it's, you know, okay, well, I... That's nothing, you know, that's, that's not what I wanted, you know, <laughs> so, um, you know, that's the world, you know, that's the, that's the world of computers, but, uh, anyway, back to the point here, we can highlight all of this as it already is, you know, we'll move it up, yeah. Uh, and this, get, this takes playing around too. Let's go back into the camera. Now let's jump back over into. Now you can see our lighting's coming in a little better. Now, our, our, well, as soon as the noise gets out, but you can see now we have, you know, we don't have a floor or, you know, a scene or anything, but, you know, I could put that into with RAN tools. I can you hit a button and I can scroll through you know, different scenes, you know, and stuff, floors and materials for it and everything. And, you know, I'm not going to do it on this computer because that's just going to, you know, use up all my memory and it's going to, you know, Blender is going to crash. But, you know, if I was on my cloud computer, you know, I could throw, I could throw together a scene real quick with lighting and everything for this. And, you know, I, I wouldn't need everything, anything else. I downloaded, it, you know, this RTX right here. And this is really all I would need, you know, because I have RAN tools and I have a bunch of other add-ons, you know, that make, you know, displays and floors and stuff. Um, I, and I got Pro Lighting. Pro Lighting has a whole library of, of different, you know, scenes and settings and stuff that come, you know, with, with the floor and the walls and, and the lighting and everything. All you got to do is click, like I did, all, you gotta, all I have to do is click on a central object like that and open up, you know, my my end panel here, and then go through it like kit ops. You know, open up the window like that, go through all the selections and pick what I want, the kind of lighting and setting that I want, and there you go. Um, but sometimes even that doesn't come in. You know, maybe you know the lights come in too strong. You know, because maybe you know you got a setting that you know that's, that's for something big. You know, like a car or you know something like that, and you you use it to you know light this little bitty, you know, RTX here. So <laughs> the, the light's going to be a little blown out, you know, for this little bitty thing. So you might, you know, have to click on your lights, go into your settings, uh, fine tune them down, you know, and all that stuff and everything. 
And, you know, that takes know-how because um, pro lighting, uh, same with RAN tools, like they did here, you saw three lights and a null. There was a null in the center, too. So you got to understand how the whole see how the whole setup is set because you're going to be you're going to go you know fixing the wattage on one light then you're going to go fitting fixing the wattage on the other light and then you know it's not going to look right you don't know what's happening but it's it's not going to look right to you you know and that's you know that's just cohesiveness between all your lights your 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 backlighting your highlight and you know all that stuff you know and even this is uh, could use some improvement um that's what comes with practice. You know, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time, you know, talking about whether we got more models to go through, but you, you get the point here. Um, oh, render. Let's uh, do a render here. See what we come up with in this. What are we looking at? Fifty cent, almost a minute for the for, to render this on on my system. And that's <laughs> just it. Almost a minute. And there's hardly anything here. I mean, you know, my cloud computer would have been done with this already. You know, it, it would have took, you know, about 10 seconds, you know, to do this. And we're still, you know, 30, we got 30 seconds left still. Um, and I, I said, I only got it. It's 128 samples. <laughs> so, I mean, and, you know, I mean, this is, this is uh, and, you know, like I said, it's just a little RTX, you know. Let's think of this as a bigger scene. Let's just think of this as a living room, you know, with couches and chairs and tables, you know, and everything like that. Yeah, yeah, it, it would be impossible on my system here. Um, you know, just rendering, rendering, you know, a scene and everything like that, you know, would take most of the day. You know, would take hours. But um, that's as good. As, we're, we're done. That's as good. As we're going to get now. Yeah, and if I did have a scene here, you know, if I did have a floor. You know, or a table, you know, something to pose it with and everything and, and, you know, more lights, you know, and all that stuff, you know, and materials for the floor and all, you know, then it just would have took a little longer, you know, because my computer would have had to figure all of that out and everything. But, uh, yeah, there's no finished render. And um, that's that. Uh, let's move on. We want to save it. Uh, what were we going to do next? Oh, we did the RTX. Uh, the mountain bike. Let's do the mountain bike. Now, again, remember, we're on beginners here. This is 11 megabytes. And you'll see why in a minute. But look how long it's taken to bring this in. There we are. Now, as a beginner again, you know, you got this for free off the Internet. Um, and when you open it up, this is what you get. Now, what do you think? Someone brand, totally brand new to be to Blender opens this file up, you know, and they got bones here. They got all kinds of, you know, and anim, they got animations in here, um, and you know, they're lost. <laughs> you know, you know, they're like, okay, this is a free model, but I mean, what can I do with this right now? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to animate. I don't know what these bones are for. I don't know what they, you know, how do, I, how am I supposed to work these? And what do they, what do they do? You know, and then maybe you don't want it this color. Well, you watched, you watched videos. You know, you're, you're a beginner. You've seen videos on, on YouTube. Um, you know, but YouTube doesn't cover everything. You know, like a course would, or, you know, well, actually just a course, because the, the YouTube tutorial people, you know, they're either covering an add-on or they're just covering stock blender, but they're not going over everything that beginners should be, uh, uh, should know. What you, what you do know, looking at all the tutorials is there's a shader editor. You're like, okay, I could, the, the, this green right here, let's say the screen right here, I could change that by going to the shader editor. So you go down here and you open this up and you go down to the shader editor and you're like, Okay, I can't click new material because there's already a material on it. And you're like, you scroll out looking for your nodes. You don't see no nodes. So you're like, you're like what the hell How about the frame? Okay, you're like, all right, the material is, okay, this is shock. I understand that. 
Um, Pelek, okay, I don't know, this is a frame, but I don't know what Pelek is. You know, for a beginner, I'm talking about. Um, I do have a mountain bike, and I have a suspension mountain bike, not like the, not one like this, but anyway, you now this is someone that just wanted a model of a bike, you know, they weren't thinking what kind of bike or any, they they probably got this because it looked cool, you know, the render was the render was awesome, and they're like, cool, that's a cool bike, I like, you know, and then they they bring it in the blender and open it up, and this is what they get, and they're like, okay, they're like, how the hell do I use this thing now? <laughs> I gotta hit the forums and Discord again to get help, just to figure out, you know, what I'm supposed to do with it. You know, how am I supposed to change? What if I don't want the green? And why? Why is it only showing one one material? Well, okay, there's the green. They're like, but um, they're like, how can I change it? You know, if I try to change, if I try to change, and where's this black coming from? This all of this, all of this is selected right here with different colors, orange, black, and green in here. So how can it be three different colors? And I only see one here. Now, smudger's down here, but don't pay attention to that. Smudger's not, these are not smudge, you know, no, this person didn't use smudger, you know, because it's not activated right here. See the button that says start smudging? This is in here only because uh, the materials are in here, that's all. So we can, we can close that. That way it don't confuse you. But um, see, it's, in, it, it's listed in Smudger because they're all listed here too. And that's all, you know, Smudger's showing you. But it's, it's not activated and the person didn't use Smudger. So you don't, you wouldn't need Smudger, you know, to do that. It's just open, it opens like that. But anyway, uh, see, you got right up here, you got all of them listed. Uh, not all of them. You know, see, there's no scroll bar here. And you might be lost about that too. You're like, okay, there's five, five materials here, but wait a minute. If I go over here, you know, there's more than five here. And so, you know, and I know this because they, you know the beginners were talking about this. This is how it come. This is how this particular thing came up because they asked this. Some of they answered their own question. Some beginners in there that already knew and figured it out on their own. And uh, one person that came in late, he saw what they were talking about, and he said he already figured that out, and he learned it on YouTube, but he said it took him hours and hours on YouTube before he found a video that explained it, because everybody was showing how you should be able to just select and select something. See how long it took for, see I clicked on that, and it took like three seconds for my computer to highlight that. When you're doing it, working on these models, just click it on the tire, you know, see how quick that was? But now my computer is, you know, has caught up and, you know, it's like, oh, you're, you're doing something with this model now. But see, I was, you know, spent like 15 minutes or so talking, you know, just talking about this and I didn't do anything. So my, my computer kind of went on, on the sleeping lazy side. And when I did click on something, it was slow, you know, it was like, oh, it's like, oh, hey, wait a minute. He's doing something. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, when you don't got a GPU, you don't got a lot of RAM, you know, and everything, you got a, a, you know, not not as fast or, you know, up to date GPU like a thun, Threadripper or anything. You know, when you got a, a slower system and stuff, you know, this is what happens. When I, when I have a big scene, you know, and I'm working on for a client or something, you know, I can't be wasting this kind of time like that you know if i'm working on something and everything then I, I go way over here you know and i gotta i gotta scroll you know you know 30 feet over here you know 30 cubes or whatever you know and click on something else over here you know, i can't afford to sit here and wait you know five minutes you know for my computer to to catch up you know and loading that because you know this is time that you know my clients you know be in charge for that's all i use you know that's it that's all i use a cloud computer for and it's for client work and that's it um and my own work but my own for my own work because i i make models what i uh, what i do uh, i should mention this you know i got kid ops what i do like for my porn videos like i'm doing a space uh a space porn video or novel, a porn not visual novel right now. And so I need a lot of space stuff. 
So I'll model, you know, create a crate and I'll model a table, you know, another, I'll model things one at a time and everything, but I put them into kits. You know, I model, a, you know, four or five, six different crates, you know, and I'll put them into a kit. Then some tables, some chairs, some walls, floors, you know, basically, you know, get a kit bash going and everything, get a whole kit, you know, into, into kit ops and everything. And then, you know, I'll export that out. And then when I open up my cloud computer, I'll just import that whole kit into uh, my cloud computer, into kit ops there. And I don't got a model. The modeling, you know, the time that it took to model and, and all that stuff and, and text, you know, shade and texture and all that stuff, that's already done and in the, in the blend files and everything. And all I got to do, or it's not, you know, done, if I decide, you know, look, I'll, I'll just texture it and everything when I'm on the cloud computer. But, you know, however way I, I choose to go about it. You know, and, I, and I'll just put together the whole scene, you know, out of the kit, and, you know, and everything. But all the modeling, you know, to save time paying uh, for the, the cloud computer for the modeling and everything, you know, because that's the most time consuming. Um, all the modeling and stuff I do on my home computer here. And that's how I save the money. When I, when I pay for the cloud computer, that's mainly for compositing, setting the scene up, getting everything, you know, where I want it and everything. And then for the most majority of the part of it, render, rendering it out. Because it'll render out a scene in seconds, you know, no matter how big it is. Because uh, the machine that I'm using on iRender is a dual RTX 3090. And it's got uh, 128 gigabytes of RAM. So, yeah. It could, I mean, whether it's a big animation or, you know, really doesn't matter really what it is, uh, it's going to, it's going to pop it out in no time at all. That's what, um, oh, I didn't show you guys. Um, for, for any beginners that are showing, you know, all this is right here, um, you got to go into, you highlight your item because this is all broken apart. As you can see, the frame is different, you know, so, so I, I clicked, I clicked again, see how long it took to do that. But now it's quick. Now, now it knows I'm working. See how quick it goes now. Now, that, but if I if I pause for you know three minutes or five minutes or whatever and everything, it'll it'll go into like a lazy mode, a sleep mode. Then when I do click on something, you know, it'll take a few minutes for it to wake up and say, you know, oh hey, we're working again. <laughs> so yeah, you got to go into edit right here. And I can go over here and select this whole thing. Is it really going that slow, or did it not register my... There it goes. All I did was hit L to select that whole thing. And you see right here, you know, now I can I can change this like that. You can see I got it selected. I can hit the deselect here and deselect it. Now, and the same with the, uh, down here at the bottom. When I hit the L on the bottom down here, see, it's, it's just this that's black. And, you know, it's not selected and everything. You can change it. See, it says right here, column, shocks. We can go up here. I don't want to... Put everything together but we can select up here you know and that's all it is and the same with the bike the, the you know this uh, bike here and everything we have to get out of the edit mode for this and we have to go over to the frame and once we have the frame then we can go into edit mode on the frame and it's the same thing on the edit mode in the frame we can select a material like here's the yellow you know we're doing a reverse over here i select i selected the model but you can also do it from here, select whatever, the, the Ranka, and just hit select. Now you can see where the Ranka is. You can see it's on the bottom here and on the top here, but it's not on the side. The side is a different, a different color. And it goes up to here and down to here, you know, and it's not this part because this is a different. But we're here, and we can, we can set the color to that. We can deselect that. There we go. That one must be hidden somewhere or a small piece. But um, that's what this center part is that wasn't selected on, this, on, on the other one, on the Renka. You can see that's this side part, the side of the frame. And, uh, and we can deselect that. And this, see, I, again, you saw a little uh, spinning ball come up. And there's our seat, the black part of it. We'll deselect it. And this orange part right here is the bottom. You can see the orange right there. We hit select, and it selects that. And then all you got to do is come down here, open this up, and you can change the color to that. You know, same with all the other ones. You know, if you want the, the Renka, we can 
go down there and select that. If you want to select the rank again, right here, if you want this to be in there, then all you got to do is just come here and select a different color like that, and it'll change the color of that. Or, like I said, you can, you know, do it like you see on the majority of, of uh, tutorials on uh, YouTube and stuff. If you if you want to do that, because you can still put shaders on this, you know, select a frame and do it, do, put a, a shader or node right here. Use nodes and it'll load a node. It'll load the uh, BSDF here, and you can go shade it that way if you want. And all this, is, you know, I'll get into this, you know, like I said, in a future video coming up here, because uh, this is part of the beginning uh, stuff that, that we're going to be doing. But all that is is if we go back over here to the solid and go up here into our report shading, all this is is different, you know, material, object, attribute, texture, random, and then single. Um, each one of those, each one of those you can set up, you know, and that brings up also down here, you know, the viewport shading or viewport display, which is also a color down here. And, uh, oh, didn't want to scroll in. But that brings up that and more stuff up here in the end panel. Let's get rid of the end panel for this one, actually. We don't really need the end panel. But uh, anyway, that's going to be that for this one. Uh, but again, <laughs> taking a lot of time here. Don't need to save. Not that important. Get out of this one. Um, what to now? Um, 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 um. Oh, how about another bike? This is a better bike, actually. This is not a bad bike, by the way, but this is a better, in my opinion, a better done one. See, but again, we're into the rigging uh, and, and stuff. And, you know, this one's also text, you know, colored and textured with decals on it this time. Uh, a be much better seat. Um, we got a camera set up here in the back corner of it. Let's take a look at that. Um, let's get a render. Let's see what that produces for us. Oh, that's a pretty quick render. Now you see how long the other, you know, the other one was slow, but this is coming along. I mean, it, it looks good right off the bat. And again, you know, this is experience. Whoever modeled this one is much experienced, you know, in, in setting up, you know, everything. Um, let's see. What is he? Where's the camera? What did he have here? Oh, 35 millimeter, no depth of field, a, you know, basic setup, not, you know, nothing real, nothing too, too big there. Um, is it locked? Okay, yeah. It, the key, it's also locked. Now, we can check that here by going up here into settings right here, locked to view. You can see, you know, that, that that's locked. If it wasn't locked to view, you know, let's go back into that and unlock it. Then if I'm going, if I'm to see how I pop out, you know, that was, that was like the first uh, model that we did when I, when I moved it and we popped out of it, but we can go back in here. We can select our camera and go back into our settings there and lock that back to view. And now, however way we move it, um, even side to side pan or, you know, whatever, whatever our camera stays still. Um, a lot of you probably already knew that. So there was nothing really new there, but again, you know, this is, uh, you know, we, we're not really getting into a lot of UI changes like I told you about. And I've got some crazy ones, you know, and everything, but um, I don't want to get in because uh, <laughs> I'll end up taking, you know, another half hour if I get into those. But there is one more or another, there is one that I do want to show you uh, that I want to cover. And I covered it in my user interface, my basic uh interface part one um i did cover it in that and that's the watch here let's open up the watch now the person that did this see what he did here the main window he put this here with no headers or anything you know and all you know and all that stuff and all you gotta do you know like i said click on that right there you can get your header up you know everything if you if you want to get it back you can just go like that and, and get it back um, I went, I did go over the headers and stuff in the part one interface, I believe. Um, I'll have to look at it again, if, but, uh, if not, but now this is a, sm a small, uh, 
example because you know this could get you know a lot different you know there could be you know 20 windows here to you know some people get real crazy and how they how they like to work and stuff you know but I, you know me I would much better prefer this window to be up here and I can do that by just going down here grabbing this window like that and just switching it like that and you know all I did was to hold the uh, control key and drag it and it switches that and I that I did go over in uh, the interface part one um, video I did go over that when you go down as soon as you see the plus right there you just hold down your control key and left click and drag and it'll switch whatever uh, window you drag to I could have dragged it over to this one and it would have switched with it. these two would have switched but whatever whatever when you're holding the control key whatever window you drag to will be the one the two windows that switch and it could be anywhere you know I I could I could pull properties over all the way across over to, to this one here and these two could switch um, so you know they don't have to be touching they don't have to be right next to each other you can go cross stream caught across screen with it <laughs> say that ten times fast um, if you want yeah that's all this one is I um, mean this one's a little comes into a little different problem um, for beginners when you do go when you do go because this is going to take a lot longer to render because this right here oh we crashed all right we're back yeah we crashed there I figured we'd do it at least once <laughs> Uh, we're not done yet. We got a, we got a good one coming up next that might crash on too. But I know, since it already crashed and cleared out the memory, we might get away with this one. But um, yeah, this right here is glass, and you can see the mixer node right here. Oh, we crashed again. It didn't like that. I, oh, I'll explain this later. All right, we are back once again. I will not click on this glass down here this time. That seems to be the problem with my computer. Uh, let me see if I can show a render because there is a uh, there's well I'm not going to get into it. I'll get into it in, in, the, in the basic blender course um, that I'm going to be doing. I don't know when, but I mean, well you know how many videos ahead, but we'll get to it. But you'll see when I render this out. First of all, you can see how long it's going to take. And it tells us it's going to be 33 minutes, but see all this pink on this plane right here now there is a material on that plane and um, it's not this pink but um <laughs> yeah this would be one thing that we'll be going over and also well now see now it's telling us it's going to take 17 hours to render this uh, you know that sounds actually more like it on, on this computer and like I said there's a reason why and this is a free model remember I'm, um, this is a this watch right here is free um, but again a little more advanced uh, stuff you know going into this one and we don't need to wait 17 hours for that to render we might okay there <laughs> we might have to wait an hour for that window to close though but anyway <laughs> um, let's move on get away from this one um, what are we going to do? Uh, we did uh, did that, did that. Um, the Audi. Um, okay, well, well, let's wait on the Audi. Uh, let's do this character. What was the character? There's the character. This demon here. Oh, I got to import this. Yeah, I forgot. We got to import. Because this is done in object files. And some of the models... That you get for free will come like this an object see sword tail stage body lower body upper and uh, yeah and some of these might be see, you know these could get really long you know it all depends on the person modeling but we'll start with the upper body here 48 megabytes and see see if we can not get a crash <laughs> um, it's an object file, so we should be better. But uh, who knows? That is not looking like our object file. Ah, 
Why do I keep forgetting that? Oh, all right. I had to mess around with that. Apparently, he was still stuck in trying to render that um, watch. So let's go through this again. <laughs> I keep trying to bring in that object. Keep forgetting to import the dang thing. I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. You see how long this is taken. And there we go. There's our upper part. You know, holding the top part of a, of a cane or stick or whatever and, and someone's head by, by hair you know, and all of that. Let's see if we can get the bottom part. Well, let's see actually how much of this we can get before the computer crashes. And how much time it takes. I could cut, I could edit this all out. Um, this waiting time, but um, there we go. We got that. We're still we're doing good. Um, we got the whole body now. Uh, there is a tail. Let's go sideways here. Let's see if we can get the tail in. How about that? Are we pushing our luck? Nope. We're going good. Okay. Oh, now we're slow. There's our wheel. Now we're slowing down. How many, let me see, how many we got? Almost 2 million faces. Let's see if we can get the sword. What do you think? Where's the sword? There's a sword. 9 megabytes for the sword. Ah, there's a sword. Uh, I think we'll just stick with that. You can get the point. Um, but this is a, this one is only an object file. It's not blend files. There's no materials or anything to it. You know, you'll have to do all that. Um, and you might be thinking this this nice sharp look right here and everything. And that's because I, I got cavity on. See right here, I'm running cavity and I'm running both. You know, the world space and the screen space. Um, there are selections here for world screen and both and I run both but that's why it's looking the way there. if I turn that off you see now you know it looks more like clay and, and you know instead of nice you know and shiny and sharp you know and you know, all that good stuff um, but anyway and you know we could you know you can you can texture this you know, and, and not, you know like I said in a number of different ways you know, I could use RAN tools. I can use a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, and so, you know, it's all about you know selecting a piece. You know, the top half up here going into. Like I showed you with the bike. Um, well, this is one way. And so you look how dense this is. You know, but I can go in here. You know, select these vertices. You know, I can I can use a circle select. You know, and, and get more of it. And you know, there's other things that we can use to to go up and get all the hair and everything. And not the hand, you know, and all that stuff. But that's that's getting into a selection and advanced selection, and you know, and all that stuff. But anyway, we can go into this and apply a material to this part right here, you know, and all that stuff. And basically, just go through the whole model, you know, go through the horns, you know, and everything, and doing that. We got our uh, spinning ball back. Let's. See if we can get away with one more model. And that's our car. The Audi R8. And it, like I said, this is this, this is uh, one, this is models that I picked that I figured we can get away with without the, my computer crashing too much. But you can, uh, you can see right away that this is a whole lot different. Um, and it's set up, you know, different. We can get out of it. Um, we're locked here. 
So let's go back into our settings. Uh, unlock it. Now we can pop out. Now you, see, now you can see all, all the craziness going on here. Um, now there's lights all all over the headlights and you know and a whole bunch of other. I mean, you know, like I said, all I'm gonna all I'm gonna do is get lost and, and spend more time, as if I haven't spent enough time on this already. But um, I guess if you guys are still here, it's a, you know it's a, you know something exciting to you guys. Yeah, so you can see that you know even with my 2015 iMac, you know, I'm not totally bogged down, you know, to where I can't do nothing. I mean, you know, even this right here, you saw me, I'm moving around in this, you know, fairly good, you know, spinning around, you know, and everything. And like, like I said, that's just because this is modeled a little, uh, the topology and everything and all that stuff is a, a lot better, even though it is one and a half million vertices. Um, the person that modeled it just modeled it better than, you know, some of the other models that were a lot smaller. And my computer had like a watch, you know, were a lot smaller and crashed my computer two or three times, you know, and just trying to work with it and move it and, you know, do something with it. Uh, heck, even select it. <laughs> so, but uh, that glass material on that watch on the stand, you know, that could be done. I've seen that already and looked at it in my uh, cloud computer and stuff and everything, he could have set that up uh, much better than he, than he did. But anyway, like I said, it's a free model, you know. And like I said, when you get free models, you know, for the majority part, this is what you're going to have to put up with. You know, don't think, you know, just because, just because they're free, that you're free and clear of any problems. You know, oh, wow, free models. I can download free models and then get them, use them right away in my scene. <laughs> no. Uh, it, it, it might not go that easily. Once you open it up in Blender, you might be looking at this going, oh, shit, what the hell am I supposed to do? Because, you know, the bikes, you know, you wouldn't have thought the bikes would have been rigged. You know, <laughs> you're like, it's a bike. You know, the tires roll. That's about it. But no, um, you didn't think about it that much, and you had to download a suspension bike. And the modeler, he says, well, if it's going to be a suspension bike, then I guess, you know, you know, so I can respect my modeling and other people can respect my modeling and stuff. Maybe I should make it to where this, you know, the whole bike works like a suspension bike does. But then again, that means I got to make the forks work and everything else, too. So I'm going to, I guess I'll have to rig the whole bike. And that's fine for you and most people that will be downloading that and using it. But for total beginners that are just starting out and say, you know, look, I want a bike, but I, I don't know how to model a bike yet, you know, and that, but I can, you know, maybe I can go get a free one, you know, and they go get a free one and bring it in and they think it's just going to be a bike model and that it comes in and they see that and they're, you know, they're like, okay, <laughs> this is not exactly what I had in mind, you know, how am I, how am I supposed to work with this? And, um. This is what we spent hours on uh, last week, going over and everything, and you know having much more fun. Cause you know I, I'm talking to myself, well, I'm talking to you guys, but I'm talking to myself. But you know, in there, you know, we're we're chatting with each other and everything, and so you know, people are asking questions and stuff's being thrown off the wall, and you know, we're, everyone's doing different things and stuff. But uh, um, you know, that was much funner than watching my video here. For those of you that are still here. <laughs> And if you are still here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that bell. I mean, come on. Um, show some love to the channel. Uh, we, can get, we can get some more subscribers here and everything. And throw some comments down. Say something. You know, good or bad, whatever. Say something, you know. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think with that, uh, I think we're good. We've covered almost everything. Um, you can see how big this is in the outliner over here. This car is huge. Some things are even turned off. Um, but, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the tutorial and saw some stuff. And um, we'll catch you on the next video. Um, and happy holidays, y'all. Uh, Thanksgiving's coming up, Christmas and all that good stuff and everything. 
Hope you and all yours have a nice holiday and all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.